What is up folks, you're watching Science is Dope. My name is Pranav and this is Saurabh, whom I introduced in the last video. What's up Pranav? So, are we going to see the eclipse today? Huh? Yeah, we, so we're both here in my terrace and uh, it's about uh, 9 a.m. And the sky is kind of cloudy, but the clouds seem to move away every now and then. Yeah. And if, if we're lucky enough, I think yep, we'll be able yep. to see it. If the universe has enough mercy, uh, <laughs> we'll probably show you a partial solar eclipse. And uh, yeah, has your mom called you yet, dude? Yeah. Did your mom also called yeah, you? Yeah, both my parents called me. They told me how dangerous it was to uh, go outside. Yeah, not Stay to eat food till 3 to, p.m. Yep, yep, yep. And if you've seen the thumbnail of this video, if you've clicked on it, uh, I'm sure you know what we're going to do. And we'll get to that in a second. So stay tuned. Now, I was there with a bunch of friends and we sort of had a picnic under the sun while there was an eclipse. And... Uh, Pictures of the eclipse, pictures and videos of the eclipse, well, we didn't really have professional equipment. All we have are uh, things we got on our phones. So, here you go. So you just saw us eating a bunch of snacks and drinking in perfect view of the sun during the eclipse. Um, and uh, I started this channel to fight pseudoscience and bring well-researched good science to the public. And uh, we as Indians, we have a lot of pseudoscientific superstitions uh, kind of entrenched within our culture and traditions. And yeah, I think we should fight against all of these and that's what this video is for. Now, where do these ideas come from? Well, thousands of years ago when people saw eclipses, they didn't know what was happening. Science wasn't as advanced back then. So stories started popping up as explanations. In India, an example of such a story is uh, the demons Rahu and Ketu were known to swallow the sun and the moon causing an eclipse. Although stories sort of evolved over time, the idea of something evil happening during that period sort of persisted and people began protecting their food, protecting pregnant women uh, and things like that. Now, today we understand exactly what happens during an eclipse and exactly what its consequences are. But the idea sort of still persists in society. Right? And it's not just uh, India. Uh, there are stories from cultures from all around the world about what happens during an eclipse. Today you can uh, find a lot of people saying scientific sounding nonsense like uh, bacteria and viruses and other microbes uh, get strengthened during an eclipse or maybe uh, something like uh, the rays from the sun, the radiation causes harm to your food. Now, all that sounds scientific because they use scientific words, but have no real basis in science, no evidence backing it up. Always when anyone makes any claim, ask them what evidence they have, what sources they have. If they don't cite valid sources, then yeah, you have no reason to believe them. So always question everything. Now, back to the video. Now, I'm gonna cite some sources in the description. You, you can see those links if you're interested in reading them uh, and uh, you know people who make these pseudoscientific claims the only sources they can cite are people like Sadhguru and videos where they explain why you shouldn't eat uh, during a solar eclipse now I'm gonna tackle that particular topic in an upcoming video uh, meanwhile stay scientific people Unfortunately, we could only bring you a partial solar eclipse. This is because we're in Bangalore. And even though I wanted to go to Delhi and uh, film this, uh, yeah, both our hands are tied because of COVID-19. Thank you, thanks a lot. And but you know what is ironic? Because I am from Delhi. Okay. And, but I'm in Bangalore and I can't see the eclipse. <laughs> My parents are in Delhi. 
they they don't want to see the eclipse so this is like something i i wanted to be in delhi man <laughs> but fine i know anyway if you want to see more content like this be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more rebellious content uh hit that bell icon you can uh, get notified when i upload stuff like that and uh, yeah that's about it make sure you uh, check out uh, sarup's content so the channel's name is figyan and just make sure if you want to see some physics videos you come to this channel right and uh, yeah that's it like and share this video if your moms especially if your moms have uh, told you not to eat uh, share this video to them and that's about it i'll see you in the next video till then remember science is dope